Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is I, it is me, it is Katleo Malela. Just Katleo. Just me. Uh, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. As always, thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Um, I've got a new video for you. This one is really different in the sense that it deals a lot with mental health. And the reason why I wanted to put out this video, because I don't really typically do a lot of mental health content unless I'm incorporating it into my vlogs. But this one, I've received quite a number of um, questions. I actually received something as well from my last video where someone was asking me, how do you deal with being in a relationship with someone who has a mental health struggle, whether it may be depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, this, that, and the other. And as someone who does um, suffer from um, high functioning depression, sorry, as somebody who does suffer from high functioning depression, I have the answers to this one because I am currently in a relationship and yes, People with mental health struggles deserve to be in relationships too. They deserve love too. So if anybody or you watched anything and someone said, do not get into a relationship with someone who has a mental health struggle, no matter what it may be, they're talking nonsense. They're talking hogwash. So this video is just going to be me sharing some tips and tricks as to what you can do if you are in a relationship with someone who has been newly diagnosed with a mental health struggle or you are trying to, you're getting into a relationship or you're engaging with someone and you think that it might potentially become a relationship, but you don't know how to deal with um, what may come with the mental health struggles that they have. This is the video that I want you to watch. This is the video that I would like for you to repost and reshare to people who might have children uh, dealing with mental health struggles, partners dealing with mental health struggles, whatever it may be. Maybe your employer is trying to figure out a way in which they can be more inclusive to people who deal with mental health struggles in the workplace. Really, really important. And I would love for you to share this video because it might go a really hell of a long way um, to helping someone out or even helping you out. So now, before I get into the pointers of what I think you should do or what you should look out for, it is really important to also look out for yourself. Now, if you are the person who is on the receiving end of being in a relationship or having some kind of familial relationship with someone who may be struggling with mental health issues or struggles, then it's really, really important to also look after yourself. It's going to be hard. It is not going to be easy, especially if you're dealing with someone who may have bipolar or somebody who may have um, uh, depression and things like that. It's not going to be hard because there are moments where you might just end up feeling like you're being pushed away or there, there, there might be moments where you feel like you're not doing enough or you're not quite sure what to do. How do you approach this but at the same time you also need to take care of yourself and also set your own boundaries when it comes to the um, what you're willing to be okay with and what you're not willing to be okay with especially coming from your partner or sister or whoever it may be that may be going through the mental health struggle it's really really important to also be aware and exercise a lot of self-awareness when it comes to you um, being the other person on the other end. I'm getting spam calls, sorry, on the other end of uh, that relationship, okay? First thing is first, healing is very, very complex, right? It's not linear. So your job being in this space with someone who is struggling mentally, it's not your job to fix them. It, it's not your job. Your job, it's not there to come in with Captain Savior, uh, Savior Complex. You know, no. A lot of people seem to have that like, oh my gosh, maybe, you know, when they're with me, uh, maybe I'll be able to help them. I'll be able to get them out of this. The truth is, you won't. You really won't. You're not going to be able to help them get out of anything, okay? The therapy, medication, Many other things will be able to help, not just you. You can be present in saying that, okay, I see that this is what's happening right now. How can I be of assistance? How can I make things easier for you, more comfortable for you? But your job is not to fix them. You cannot. I'm going to repeat that. 
You cannot fix somebody who is going through a mentally depressive episode or they're going through a bipolar episode or they're going through an anxiety episode. You cannot fix that. You really can't. You can be there to help ease them into managing and dealing with the situation a little bit better. Okay? First things first. Okay, so also very important, familiarize yourself with what your partner or your sister, brother, uh, colleague, co-worker is going through. Familiarize yourself. A lot of the time we don't even know what bipolar is. We can't explain it properly. You're going to say, oh, no, Shem, she's acting bipolar. Already, that's wrong. First things first, you're shaming someone with a mental health illness. That is not okay. Um, the first thing you can do is learn about the struggle that your, your partner, person, the person you're engaging with is going through. Figure out what it is. Read more up about it so that you know when the signs and the symptoms present themselves, you know exactly what you need to do. Now, this is really important to note because signs and symptoms are not the same with every person. When someone is going through, when someone is struggling with bipolar, they have manic episodes, which are really, really moments of high highs and very low lows, right? So you need to understand that they're very different to someone who might be exhibiting signs of depression where they just want to shut everything out. They want to sleep all day. They don't want to eat. They don't want to engage with the world. They don't even want to get out of bed, much less take a shower. They don't want to do any of that. So you need to familiarize with the signs and the symptoms of the person that you are engaging with. What is it that they are struggling with? And how are you going to identify once they fall into an episode? Now for me, with Diesel, he knows how to identify when I fall into an episode. I'm not going to want to get out of bed. I'm not going to want to engage. I don't want to talk. I love the fact that he's there. Thanks, sweetie. But I don't want to engage. I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't want to do any of that. And he knows that in this time, the only thing he can make do is I'm comfortable I've got my, my, my warm blanket, I'm warm, I'm secure, I'm sleeping. He makes sure that he wakes me up so that he can give me food so I can eat because we don't care for eating as well. It's just a thing, we don't care for it. He makes sure that I am comfortable. How can I assist you in this time while you pull through this process, right? So you need to be able to identify the signs and the symptoms that might be showing that this person is falling into an episode. Really, really important that you know that. Very, very important. Also, Words of encouragement, very, very important. Tell them you care. Tell them you believe in them. Tell them that you're going to get through this. Don't tell them, don't tell them that, ah, bro, this isn't that deep. It's fine. You're going to do this, bro. This is, ah, you got this. You got this. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Just tell them that you're going to be okay. We're going to get through this. I believe in you. I know that this is tough for you. I, I, I can only imagine how tough this is for you, but I know you're going to get through. That's all. Then leave them. We hear it. We hear it. We're not just ignoring you and whatever. No, we hear it. We actually hear what you're saying. So give them reassurance. Reaffirm them. Reaffirm the fact that you believe in their strength and you believe in the fact that they can make it through this really difficult time. Reaffirm them. It is so important. And it goes such a long way. Such a long way. They will be tired a lot. A lot. Someone who is going through a mental health struggle and if they fall into an episode, they will get tired. They will be tired. They will have a lot of memory loss. It happens. I forget things. I forget things. I'm naturally just forgetful. But when I'm going through an episode, I do not even remember what I said 10 minutes ago. I can tell you that for free. And, and, and Diesel will always say to me that, but you said this. And I'm like, no, I didn't. And find, when I think about it, eventually I'm like, yeah, 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 yep. I could have said that, yeah, yep. So they will be tired a lot. There will be a lot of memory loss. There will be a lot of being drained and all of that. Make sure that they are as comfortable as possible. There is not much you can do in this moment, except make sure that they're taking their medication. If at all they are on any medication and they are eating and that they are 
as comfortable as they can be. There's nothing more you can do outside of that. Let them see that you are there as a support system, as a pillar of, of strength, as someone that is there looking out for them that wants to remind them that you, I'm here for you. You're going to pull through this. Let them know that you are there. But outside of that, cut it. Outside of that, absolutely cut it. There's nothing else you can do. Let them sleep if they need to sleep. If they're going to have their high highs, they will come down as well. So you need to know what your person is actually going through. <clears throat> also, really, really important. Try not to take what they say or do personally. Very, very important. I'm not saying break your boundaries now. I'm not saying allow someone to disrespect you, throw things at you because they're having a manic episode or completely be uh, disrespectful, just downright degrading towards you just because. No, there is nothing that will be any excuse for someone just being disrespectful to you, whether they're going through a mental episode or not. No, no. But also remember what they are going through at that time if they do not want to go out if they do not want to eat if they do not want to leave the bed if they do not you need to know do not take it personally it is not directed at you a lot of the time there is an imbalance in the brain it's not necessarily something that they have much control over themselves so remember not to take things personally too personally especially when that person is going through an episode just remember not to take things too personally it really isn't about them wanting to hurt you or wanting to make you feel some type of way they are really just going through some stuff that's up here and it might make them act out in a certain way or say certain things that they really do not mean. But try not to take it personally. Just try. Just try. Also really, really important, if they ask to be alone, you have to respect that. Sometimes I may enjoy the fact that or appreciate the fact that you are next to me. But certain times I just want to be by myself. I'm not trying to be mean in any way, shape or form. I just want to be by myself. I need this moment. Sometimes we just need us in order to recuperate, in order to find our way through. Sometimes having someone around us just becomes too distracting. And at the same time, it doesn't allow for healing to happen because because there seems like there's something that's somewhat of a distraction. So if they ask you, if they ask you to please just give me this moment, give me a day or two to be alone. Um, in the morning, I'm not really that great in the morning. Just, you know, just a kiss. Bye. Sharp morning. <laughs> bye. That's it. I don't really like to engage in the morning. I'm really difficult in the morning. So I ain't trying to take that out on you. If they say these things, if they lay out their boundaries, you lay out yours and try to have both of you respect that as well. So, But they need to respect your boundaries as well, just as much as you respect theirs. Okay. <sighs> Lastly, and probably maybe the most important one, don't treat them like they're crazy. Don't treat them like something is wrong with them. Do not treat someone who is going through a really difficult time, like, oh, they're doing too much, they're exaggerating, it really isn't even that deep. You do not know unless you've walked in their shoes. So if there's one thing that I can highly, highly, highly please stress, do not treat them like they're crazy. Do not treat them as if they are really exaggerating. Now they're just trying to milk the situation, you know. Now they can see that I'm, 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 I'm concerned, I'm worried, I'm all of this. Now they're really just trying to milk the situation. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. So I think at the end of the day, just try not to treat them like they're crazy or like that they're exaggerating the situation. Understand that they need you. They need your support. Okay. So just... Just saying things like, I'm here for you, whatever you need, it's fine, I'm here for you. If I can, if it's within my power, I'll do it. Um, if I can't, uh, okay, don't say if I can't, but just whatever you need, I'm here for you. But don't ever make them feel like them showing you that side of them. Don't ever make them feel like they should regret it, okay? Because they really, really need all the support they can get in that time, even in moments where it doesn't seem like they, they can show, they're showing.
Uh, even in moments where it, it doesn't seem like they're showing that they appreciate it. They really do. It's just... It's, it's more harder than it seems. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't think I'll do something like this again. I just wanted to get this particular one out there because I have been asked about it and I wasn't sure if I had spoken about it in my membership space or if I hadn't, but uh, I'm here now speaking about it now. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let's try and get these videos up to a thousand likes. I know that these videos aren't the ones that go fast. You know what I'm saying? But I do think that these videos are really important to get out there, especially with mental health and mental health awareness. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you, as always, for choosing me over and over again. Until the next one, I will see you very, very soon. Until then, thank you and cheers. Sayonara.